Panelists, it's been a while since I got to join you. Uh, great to see you. Uh, Carrie, let's start with you. The Conservatives, Progressive Conservatives, mounted quite the campaign about Wab Canoe's past and crime getting worse under Wab Canoe. What do you think it says that that strategy didn't work? I think it says a lot for, for the society right now. They are willing to accept Indigenous people at all levels and i think that speaks a lot for manitobians manitoba people um and it was just sort of a last ditch effort that didn't work obviously um there was an attempt to play on maybe people's hidden biases or overt biases against indigenous people and and it was so hard warming to see that those tactics failed. Uh, Negan, uh, of course there's been First Nations premiers in the territories, but how significant do you think it is that we now have the first First Nations premier in one of the provinces? Uh, I can't agree more with Kerry. Uh, we, we just remember one thing uh, that, uh, that defined this election. Uh, Brian Pallister, former Manitoba premier, he was removed because of his, not because of his failure during the pandemic or health care or inflation, he was removed because of the inaccurate, harmful things that he said about Indigenous peoples. Mm -hmm. uh, the exact same thing happened with Heather Stephenson. Uh, she was booted from office because that she resorted to stereotypes and, frankly, not only just inaccurate statements, but harmful statements using women, uh, women's remains in a landfill as a political ploy. Um, and so what we have now is the first First Nations Premier of a Canadian province. And what that tells you is that in uh, the mainstream, and it's not that the North isn't the mainstream, it's just that if you talk about the major issues in Canada, they happen in mostly cities, uh, places like uh, Toronto, Winnipeg, or Toronto, Montreal, uh, Vancouver. Um, it wasn't those places, it was Winnipeg. It was Winnipeg in which the center of kind of change began. And if you think back to Confederation, what was the first footstep of Canada? It was in Manitoba. It was when Louis Riel declared Manitoba as a separate state. And once again, Indigenous peoples are going to lead uh, this, pro this Canada, this place, this country into the future. Uh, Carrie, you know, the landfill issue was brought up a lot during the campaign and uh, front and centre right now. Uh, just hours after the election, there was funding announced for further study. Uh, what are your thoughts on where things go? I think right now, everybody is just so excited to have a different voice at the table somebody who's going to listen and i think that was one of the issues that was um coming from the families is they were being silenced there was no um opportunity to, opportunity for them to actually express what they wanted and what they were saying um and so i'm hoping moving forward that this there, there is some reasonable resolve in terms of the landfill search, and I think it's, it's, it's about time. I think Canada is watching, the world's watching. They need to see something. Uh, Niga, no doubt you've been hearing it, seeing it over the last 24, 48 hours. Expectations are pretty high with uh, Wab as premier. How likely is it? Do you think that the new NDP government with Wab Canoe as premier can live up to those expectations? Well, one thing that Kerry said just a second ago is uh, a reasonable expectation. Uh, the question is, will Manitoba be ready for that reasonable expectation, even on the issue of the landfill? I mean, we are talking about something that will take years to accomplish. Um, it's not going to be easy, and uh, it's going to take a lot of resources and time and money. Um, you could say the exact same thing about what Wab Canoe made as the lin linchpin of his campaign, which is health care. Healthcare didn't break overnight and certainly didn't break just under the Conservatives. It was also the previous NDP government in Manitoba who put the initial fractures, but the Conservatives absolutely smashed the healthcare system to smithereens uh, through their austerity agendas, uh, multiple, closing multiple ERs, just as an example. Um, to rebuild those ERs, to rebuild a relationship with nurses so they come back in, to hire doctors that don't actually exist. I mean, these are monumental challenges that Wab Canoe is facing. Just on the issue of healthcare, people want healthcare to be fixed right away. And my hope is, is that uh, they use some of Kerry's advice, which is a reasonable expectation 
uh, moving forward or else Wobkin is in a lot of trouble. I mean, he's not going to, if he over promises, then that will be apathy. And then what is the major conservative message that he wasn't ready for office? If he gives evidence of that, meaning that he over promised or that he can't deliver right away, uh, that's just going to feed more fire to rancor and division. Kerry uh, Negon, great to be back with you. Appreciate you taking some time for us this week. Nice to have you back.